once you download all the files that you need for uh, chapter 4, you're going to open up Photoshop and then click open. And you're going to go look for those files that you downloaded. Hopefully you saved all those files in your correct folder on your desktop. So we are doing chapter four. So I'm going to open the start PSD. Zero fourth start PSD dot PSD. And then um, I'm also going to open to so let me let me go back go up here file open and you also want to get the beach one so open that so a uh, couple things i want to go over so we are learning about layers in this chapter so down here um, if you don't see your layers bar you can go up at the top so here's my mouse if you find where it says window these are all the different things that you can open. So like if you're trying to um, change the font for something, those are called characters. It'll open up the character tab and you can close it and it'll be right here. So the same thing would be uh, for layers. If you don't see it, then you go to windows, layers, and it will pop up. Um, another thing I wanna I want to share is if your Photoshop does not look like mine make sure you're in the correct workspace so uh, up at the top at the top right you're gonna see this little box if you click on it switch to essentials because some of you might have it on a different setting so if I click on motion it kind of moves things around really weird so make sure you're in essentials and if it still doesn't look like this then back to where it says window you're going to go to workspace and then reset essentials and what that's going to do is it'll reset it back to the default so you should see the layers now and what i want to show you is in, in all of these layers the majority of the photoshop layers are going to have this background layer right here uh, there's usually a background layer created whenever you start a new Photoshop file and it'll be labeled background and it's going to have this little lock. That means you can't change the background. It's just there. Uh, there's also these little eyeballs right here. These will turn on and off a layer. So if I click on the pineapple right here, click on the eyeball, it hides it, click it and it comes back. So um, layers are very important whatever layer is on top or whatever the order of the layers that's the order in which they appear on your little canvas right here so first thing we're going to do is we're going to save our project file so file save as and go ahead and put it in your folder um, that you have saved on your desktop for me um, i need to make i need to make a folder on this laptop so um, this is digital media, so I'm going to create that folder. And then um, make sure you name it. So I'm going to keep the 04, but I'm going to rename the start to something else. So I'm going to do underscore, and then put your initials, um, and then postcard, because that's what the assignment is. And make sure that your format right here, anytime you save a new file or a new project, always make sure that your format is set to Photoshop. What that does is whenever you uh, continue your work the next day, the Photoshop file will contain all of your layers, anything you worked on. So make sure that it's on a Photoshop. If it's on anything else, it, mm, it's probably not going to save all your layers and it's going to be very difficult to continue where you left off. So always make sure that your format is set to Photoshop so that you can continue where you left off the previous time. Whenever you see this little box, just click OK. Um, I can click on Don't Show Again and then click OK and you won't see this pop up anymore. 
So I just saved it, so it should be in my folder that I created on my desktop. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the beach uh, document right here. Notice these tabs, you can have as many Photoshop documents open and it's just gonna push it off to the, to the edge. Um, so right now I have the postcard open, which is my working file, and I have the beach open and the reason we have that one open is because we're going to drag it to the postcard. So we're going to pull this tab out and you can actually have it on a separate window like this. You can also put it back in, you see how it's highlighting blue and it'll put it back in the, in that spot. So we're pulling this out and we want to select the move tool, which is this first right here, this first one. And this right here, we're going to put into, see if it lets me, there it is. So I clicked and dragged so that I can put it into this document. And you'll see, it's still here. It's kind of like copying it onto the other, the other area. So now that we copied it and have it in the postcard working file, we're gonna close this because we don't need it anymore. And you'll see that now it's right here. And we're gonna click where it says layer one, because if you notice, all of these are named. You got a pineapple, flower, Hawaii, postage. Layer one is not named. So we're gonna go ahead and name it by double clicking and name it beach. We can also move it around to a different spot. So I'm gonna move mine here. So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to have the beach layer um, on, but it's going to be the only one that, that we want to work with. So um, I can either turn off the other ones or um, I just learned this shortcut. If you hold command on your keyboard and you click on, um, whoops, let's see if this works. Okay, it's command. This may or may not work. Never mind. Just turn these off. There's a shortcut I was trying to use that um, the textbook shows you how to show and hide uh, visibility, but I can just click on them individually. So we want to have only the beach layer open. And what we're going to do with that beach layer is we're going to add a stroke like an outline so to do that we're going to go to layer up here layer style and then look for where it says stroke and you're going to click on that and that's going to open up a window like this um, there is an alternate way that i prefer to do it so again there's more than one way to do things in photoshop so i'm going to close that uh, this is the way I like getting to it. So I showed you the layer, layer style, and here are the different effects. The other route is down here where the layers are. And again, make sure you have your beach layer selected. You're going to click FX right here. And you have those same effects. So stroke is right there. And it opens the same box. So that's, that's the one I like using is down here. So the book says we have to enter specific settings. So the size has to be five pixels. So we're going to type in five. The position is on the inside. And let me move this to the side so you can see what it's doing. So if I click and drag, you'll notice that it kind of moves. And that's because I have my preview button selected so that I can preview it as I change. So if, uh, I'm going to do five pixels and then position inside. If you do it through the outside, it's going to do the stroke starting from the outside of the image. But the book says to put it on the inside. The blend mode is going to uh, stay normal. Opacity, 100%. Opacity is basically like how see-through or transparent something is. We want it to 100. And then the color, we're going to click on it and do white. 
click OK. And you can see there's a nice clean border around it. And we're going to click OK. And you'll notice that on the beach layer, you now have an effect with a stroke. And it also has a little eyeball, meaning I can hide it if I wanted to. And I can also click and drag it to the trash if I want to get rid of it, which is pretty cool.